Wyckoff's Adventures has announced to everyone they have good news. No more RV Living. The RV Living YouTube channel dream is dead for now. What happened? They got a job in a location that gets cold. They are going to be moving indoors and need to do something with the trailer. They talk about storage or renting or something because it, it can't stay where it's at. And I don't think it can actually stay in the cold. Um, as far as I'm aware, the area they're staying at, from the sounds of it, is very, very snowy, very, very cold. And I don't believe their ultralight is supposed to actually be used in that type of weather so they couldn't really live in it anyway um at least that's from when i looked into ultralights i watched some other rv channels after watching the wyckoffs and that seemed to be a common consensus you kind of dodged the snow now wyckoffs adventure channel itself the channel itself isn't dead um they plan on doing adventures using the truck and of course planes but depending on how much snow they're getting um they might be lucky to be able to travel at all from this location um, some places get a lot of snow, and if they're already getting down to, I think it was 28 in August, that's going to be pretty, uh, pretty cold. He says they can do adventures one day or two days out of the week, but if they're working 40 hours a week, as he says, maybe not. That's a lot. You see, at one point, if you didn't know, I used to stream, and at one point, I was doing nearly daily streaming with working between 34 to 40 hours a week. And uh, it, it's rough. It's a lot. It's a reason I started doing YouTube instead. Streaming is draining. It's, to me, I think it's, it's more fun. It's more rewarding. But it's draining. Um, now, I hope we do get kind of a post-mortem of the pros and cons of their time RV living, right? Those type of videos do actually really well on YouTube, too. You see, a lot of people, when they want to do a lifestyle or a job... They look up, of course, the pros, the cons, the videos of people doing it, but they also look up people who quit. Um, a good example would be a YouTube channel that popped up for me periodically. I don't want to do it, but it was Life as an English Teacher in Japan. And if you want to talk about a video going viral, well, it was when they quit. Um, that became incredibly viral because then you get to hear the negatives and they had a video detailing why they did it and everything like that. And it did really well. People love to hear those negatives that you aren't really going to hear from people while they're still living a life, so to speak. Um, so I do hope they they do an update uh, like that. Now, with that being said, there are other channels trying to do RV living. Uh, Polish Agnes is still putting out videos and content. and I, I haven't watched any lately, I'm going to be honest. I've been very busy with personal things. But they've got some new videos pop up. Sometimes they get a little alert. I'm not even subscribed. And I'll get alerts that Polish Agnes posted a short or a video, and it's all around the RVs and camping and stuff. Now, what type of content can we expect from the Wyckoff's Adventures channel? That's a toughie. Um, we are in an election year, right? And there's been some interest. Are they going to go back to their original channel? Is there going to be any political content? Is political content going to make it into the Adventures channel? Uh, personally, what I think they're probably going to end up doing is if they do political content, they'll probably do it on the other channel more than the travel channel. Just because maybe, I, I would think that the algorithm already knows what people that watch the other channel want to see and it just would play out better. I think that would probably play out better. But we'll have to see. If they're traveling, if they're flying, I mean, theoretically, they could go to Trump rallies. Theoretically, they could go to the area that the, the rally is, have their adventure. If they got two days off, do one day traveling the area, one day to the rally. If that's possible. Um, he mentioned maybe skydiving. <laughs> so that'd be, that'd be a video, maybe a video, if they can record that. I mean, you can. I don't know, I don't know how that works. I know people have recorded. I don't know if you're allowed to do it. It's like a commercial. Or pro they probably sell the video. <laughs> They're probably like the harness they do for like the instructor probably has the video. Um, but yeah, I I've noticed a trend on a lot of channels with like RV stuff. Because I still get it recommended, right? Because of the, the Wyckoff's Adventures watching. Which there hasn't been a lot of content lately. So, you know, there's YouTube trying to find something. Um, 
a lot of them seem to be like winterizing their uh, trailers and trying to, but not the ultralights. The ultralights, um, they seem to be traveling south, warm, getting away. Um, I will say it is really funny. I'm, I'm going to call it out as I, as it, it seems to happen. A lot of people that support Trump end up getting good opportunities in places like California. <laughs> Uh, I, th I think I'm, I don't know if I made it on a video or not, but I definitely had the thought of when like they were going to travel. I had the thought they're going to end up living in California or um, some very blue state. I, I just had that feeling because um, they're nice. I mean, they're nice. There's things to do, places to go, big cities to go to if you want, um, good public transport if you need it. Um, generally sometimes not as well with public transport but there's there's things to do and if you're trying to do a youtube channel or go on adventures i mean it's great it's really nice um and they kind of exhausted florida like what do you got you got florida i mean they kind of i think they exhausted florida i mean like there's only so much you can do there and then texas i mean texas has stuff but eh, i've been to texas i eh, um so yeah, there's a lot they could just see locally too, in like the California area. Um, I'm sure there's probably some like really cool stuff during the winter, uh, with like snow and stuff they could get to as well. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe. I remember. I don't remember what city was it, Denver they went to, and then they did that trip in the middle of the night to a location they wanted to see, and it was closed. And they complained they'd gone there like three separate times and it was closed due to COVID, due to timing or whatever. Maybe we'll finally get a trip that goes behind that gate. I can't remember where they were traveling to. Is that the waterfall location? I don't know. I can't remember exactly. But, you know, they got things like that they can do. I, I, I'm assuming they're not going to put like markers on the travel trailer, right? Like that, the sidewall. I'm assuming they're going to keep that for when the travel trailer actually gets there. Um, theoretically, hey, they could go to the places a travel trailer can't. If they wanted to go, they could fly to Alaska. Probably don't want to do that during the winter. Or hey, maybe you do. Maybe that's an experience. Maybe they would want to go see Hawaii. I don't know if they've ever been, but the travel trailer can't go to Hawaii. So there's content that you wouldn't be able to get living in a travel trailer. Um, same with Alaska, unless you want to travel through Canada, which is its own headache. But... That's just, I wanted to give a little update. Um, the video that they're, they do, they've done is out there talking about this. I'll put it in the pinned comment if you want to see it. It's not that long. Um, it doesn't give a lot of details. Um, it's mostly that they're moving out of the trailer, which is a big deal because you kind of, you kind of got to rip that bandage. You got to rip that off at some point. You got to, you got to, you got to talk about it because not everyone's going to ask. Um, I will say, uh, I do wonder. Ooh. I wonder what you do with the trailer because if you store it you got to store it somewhere it's not going to get freezing or I mean the pipes can freeze the issues with that if you're renting it are they going to destroy it Airbnb are they going to destroy it can you really manage them Airbnb -ing it while also having this job how far away would it be um sounds like an issue um, if they're already getting snow and they're already getting cold and they're talking about being there for multiple months, I assume this is the end of the, or at least not happening this year, the uh, haunted stuff, right? Because they'd have to start building, and they, they built in September last year, I think. So I'm assuming that's not happening, especially with a 40 hour a week job. So I don't know. I don't know what we're going to get. I think them expecting to put out like a new video or like a new or like do go live uh twice a week probably a little much um and there's still all that route 66 stuff that you know eventually i guess will trickle its way out um mentioned a bunch of member stuff like more personal member stuff coming out i uh i don't know i, I don't know what that would be um but i mean there, there's definitely working in a camp that snows a lot like that, that that's unique content some people's dream job i mean if it's tagged right the right the right title the right seo the right description i mean could do well um but then that's extra work right and 
you would have to put out those videos in a timely manner where it's still like relevant right like you'd want to do it during the winter um and then like if a big snowstorm hits the area that around i think they said near san francisco you would want to like get a video done and put it out but the question is are you going to have internet when that happens are you going to have power maybe not 